Hey, what's up? So, you're here because you're thinking about becoming an Army Drill Sergeant. Perhaps a fear of rejection prevents you from being intimate, sir! Give me that advice again, Private Oprah! <laughs> or, you just checked your email and you saw that you got a message saying that uh, you've been DA selected for Drill Sergeant duty. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to give you a couple of uh, advice and some tips that will help you out um, before you go to the school that will in increase your chances of being a first-time go. So stick around. Your information, the position of attention, you don't move! Do you understand? Yes, sir, sir! Off the ground! Get your knees off the ground! Yes, sir, sir! Get your knees off the ground! Alright, so I wanted to do this video because I went on YouTube and I typed in getting ready for drill sergeant school and really nothing came up. Uh, nothing really came up. So, you know, I told myself I, I just came off the trail like not more than six months ago. So, um, I was an OSET drill and I thought about, you know, maybe I will make a video um, just to kind of put it out there and help anybody out. And I know if you're thinking about it or if you're already on orders, there's a lot of anxiety going on because you're not sure what to expect. So, and we'll talk about a couple of things. Um, but mainly it's, it's helping you get ready before you go to the school. All right. Um, there's another video that I did in the past to where it talked about um, you've already completed the school and you're just a brand new drill sergeant going to your unit. So that's a different video. Um. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> Hi, babe. Aww. Can I make my video? Yes. <laughs> All right. So first thing we're gonna talk about is you gotta ask yourself: Is this something that I really want to do? And um, I just want to put a lot of uh, stress into it that. Uh, the, the drill sergeant duty is a hardship assignment. It, it's a hardship tour. And uh, with, if you're married and when you're with kids, then it's even, it's, e it's even more difficult because you're going to work six to seven days a week. You're going to have to be at the company probably around 04, and you're not going to get home till um, 2000 or 2030. So you're going to be gone a lot. Um, I know when I was a drill sergeant, I, I it, it didn't even make sense to have cable TV because I just didn't watch it. I two years, I didn't watch any TV at all. And um, but if you're single, um, I I do I do know that if you are single, it's, it's it, it can be kind of um, difficult because you may want to do college or something like that, and you just don't have time for it. And and when you do have time off, you're going to see that you're spending it on like chores, like you're doing laundry, you're washing the car, getting groceries, you're going to the hospital, doing all your appointments, um, you're just catching up on all, all the things that, you know, regular army would do after 1700 or Saturday and Sunday. And you're just doing that for a couple hours, maybe in half a day. So you don't, you really don't get that much time off. So, and it's something that you got to tell yourself, you know, is this what I want? Is this what I really want to do? Um, but it's only two years, uh, so that's number one. All right. So second thing that we'll talk about is, um, and it's kind of obvious, but I'm gonna just throw it out there anyway. And uh, I'm letting you know because when I went, I I I I didn't know, but. When you go to the Drill Sergeant Academy, you're going to basic training all over again. Red phase, white phase, and then blue phase. At the end of blue phase, you need to have an APFT score 
with 70% in each event in order to graduate. And you cannot graduate with a temporary profile. So I'm telling you, you need to make sure that your PT is good. And along with your height and weight standards, right? And I just want to throw it out there. The third thing we're going to talk about is, um, and if you get this down pack, it will help you out extremely uh, before you get to the academy, the Drissron Academy. And it's knowing the top three modules uh, before you get to school, okay? Because remember, as soon as you get there, you're going to start red phase and you're not going to have a lot of time um, after class to study the modules. You won't. You're going to be up all night studying these modules if you don't know them already. And so before I get into the top three, let me just explain what the modules are. So the, the, the modules are... And you can find them on the um, drill sergeant website, but basically it's like a it's like a script that uh, you got to kind of read per verbatim, but not it doesn't have to be 100%. But you're pitching, right? They're gonna tell you a pitch. Basically, you're standing up at the instructor stance, and you're um, you're talking about basic DNC. Uh, Basic DNC stuff like your um, left flank, right flank, rear march, sling arms, order arms. Um, let me see your counter columns, uh, stack and take. Uh, those are all modules, right? And they'll they'll break them down. They'll break them down with you. However, they're gonna do. It. I don't know how they're doing it now, but they'll break them down and then they'll give you a week to study that one module. Um, now I'm telling you that before you get to the school to already know the top three because when you get to the academy that next week you're gonna have to pitch all uh, the top three which are position of attention, hand salute, and rest positions at the hall. You're gonna pitch all three of those um, in one day. And if you and if you get there and you don't know any of it, then you're gonna be up. You're gonna be up a lot. You're gonna be up at late nights trying to study those three modules. And 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 you probably heard this word being thrown around by someone who's a former drill sergeant, and they they told you, hey, you need to start looking at the modules. You need to start looking at the modules, right? Because they were those modules can. Uh, they're. I mean, it's it's just a nightmare. Uh -huh. You will conduct practical work on is the position of attention. The position of attention is a key position for all stationary facing and marching movements. The commands for this position are fall in and attention. Fall in is a combined command. Attention is a two-part command when preceded by a preparatory command such as squad, platoon, or demonstrator. I will use demonstrator as a preparatory command. And it's all sitting there and memorizing this stuff. So, and if you do go to the uh, Drill Sergeant Academy, um, right off Right off base, there's a store called U.S. Patriot Store, and they sell these these little pocket-sized module books, right? And uh, this is what I got. But uh, when you do buy the module book, just keep it on you, because every chance you get, whether you're waiting in line for chow, or you're coming out the defect, or you know you get a little break or whatever, you want to pull out your module book and study your module um, and get ready to pitch it that. Uh, that following week um, so yeah those top three I would have them down packed before you go to the Academy and if you have somebody in your unit that was a drill sergeant um, I would go up to him and say hey can I can I pitch you know can I pitch in front of you and try to get it down and you know practice uh, practice doing that all right the fourth thing that we're going to talk about is one other thing that you should look at before you go to the Academy is um, the skill level one warrior book, right? And keep, keep this in mind that you as a drill sergeant, you are the SME. You're the subject matter expert on warrior tasks and battle drills for all skill level one stuff, right? And this is what they're giving the trainees now um, when they're coming, they're coming straight from um, the 43rd or from uh, reception battalion. They're giving them this book right here. And uh, but you should pick it up and crack it open and take a look at it, and it's all basic soldiery and stuff. Uh, because when you're in the academy, you're gonna have, you're gonna go through all this stuff, all over again, right? 
And I would just kind of, you know, just buy the book and uh, kind of brush up on it before you go to the academy. Last thing we're going to talk about, and then we're going to wrap it up, is PRT. All right. So you should look at and study PRT before you go to the academy. And know most of the checkpoints of all the exercises and stretches and cool downs and know all that stuff before you get there. Because you're going to be graded on PRT. You're going to be graded on strength and mobility and endurance. Endurance mobility. And you're going to be a primary instructor. Then you're going to be a, a assistant instructor AI. So you're going to do both. And um, But when you first get there... They're going to show you how PRT is supposed to be done, which is great because, you know, in my opinion, regular army, like PRT has been around since 2010, I think, and we still don't got it down packed. But anyway, um, they're going to show you how it's su supposed to be done, and, and that's it. Once that's done, it's like that very, that very next day, they're going to ask who wants to get graded first, and then that's it. You start grading each other on PRT. Like that's it, um, and, and you have to memorize all the exercises and and what order that they go into. Um, you can't jump around because you'll, as you get graded, if you get jumped around or if you miss stuff off, then you'll just get a no go. But PRT, yeah, it's, PRT is very important. Um, Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to sum up this video. So we talked about five things that's going to help you out before you get to the actual Drill Sergeant Academy. So um, if you are going, best of luck. Um, I hope you, hope you make it, get your brown round, get your campaign hat, and... You'll be good. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all later.